Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. We actually had a great day. Did you hear hi? I'm here to see our first video. Did you say hi? Come on, say hi. Well, I'm the only one. I do the talking and she does anything else. Recording, I don't know. Anything else, editing, whatever she does. But I guess now it's not part of the game. So we are here to see our first guest. And it is he's a guy. Oh, he's a pain, so, yes. so let's go. Come on. Même Jean Payer, Jean Payer, Entertainment, Kings. So check it out. That's your boy Hajj with Miss Central Africa. <laughs> hey. Building. Yes. Hey guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. We probably had a great day. And I'm with my first guest. Mr. Hash, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good, girl. How are you? I'm okay, you know. Alright, I see you enjoying your thing. I'm trying, I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> so, there we go. What's your name? I know your name for sure, but right. they don't. Okay, for those of you who don't know my name, my name is El Haj Tibati. Tibati, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Ivory Coast. Oh, so you probably speak French, right? Yeah, French, English, Spanish, and some other languages. Oh, there is this language from uh, Africa. It's called Nushi something. Nushi, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a it's a type of slang. It's slang actually. Oh, is it easy to learn? Because I would really love to learn how to speak it. I would really love to. Can I learn a thing or two? Yeah, or do yeah. you say hi, Nushi? Very, very. Yeah, it's 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 pretty uh, simple. Como. Como. Yeah, say como. Just like Spanish, como, how. Mm -hmm. You know, say, it's French. Yeah. Plus, uh, it's a type of, it's a mixture of uh, two different languages. So combined it's. Combined to, yeah, two different languages. So it's Spanish and French. Yeah. But not, not really Spanish and French, but, you know, sometimes we kind of pick up other languages and then put it together. But you guys don't speak Spanish. That's, that's no, we, 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 we don't, we don't, we don't speak Spanish. Unfortunately. Oh, okay, so what do you do? Are you? What do I do? I'm actually a student um, and also mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a leasing agent right now. And uh, during night time, I decided to, to promote. Promote? I promote a club? Yeah. Is there any specific club that you're actually promoting right now? Well, I'm almost everywhere for the time being, you know. So yeah. Every night. That means you go out every night. They just is have every night, so you better get his number when you see him, so you can get him for free. <laughs> so which yeah. club? Like, we, what, which day of the week do you actually go to the club? Like Monday, from Monday to Sunday? Um, mainly Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So what about today? Are you going out today? Uh, today I'll go, but it's not my event. I'll just do it now. It is Thursday, by the way, so I'll be going in. Uh, so relax. if I go with you, will you be free yeah. for me to uh, get no. it? Of course, of course. Yeah, anything free is always good. Can I save some points? <laughs> so what is your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is actually the food that I have right now. It's called I was uh, actually a main physical editor. It's like a bodybuilding. I used to do that, and uh, you know, it was at the beginning, so I actually switched to, uh, I didn't switch because it's my passion, it's something that I've always wanted to do since I was little, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, as of now, I'm currently off season, yeah. I'm not really training as I'm supposed to, but, you know, I'm taking my time. So how did you get into that, into the bodybuilding stuff? Well, I used to be in kindergarten, I used to be the skinniest dude. Oh really? You know, I would love to see that. Do you have any pictures? Well, <laughs> I don't, uh, probably, yeah, I do, I do have some pictures, you know. Can I see them? I mean, a few days from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
I used to uh, be up big down a lot, be show with bloggers and things like that. And, um, I used to get my food taken away from me. You know, I, I did. I never ate when I, whenever I was in Tehran, so I was like, you know what? Um, I was actually trying when I went to middle school. I tried to leave. People were making fun of me. You never going to make it. You never going to uh, get big. And uh, at that time, I was actually hiding myself because people would make. I was always wearing long sleeves and things like that. And uh, at some point. I start seeing results, and then that's what kept me going. I, I know that actually girls eat on eat on guys like that a lot. Did you get a lot of girls when you were doing this? I mean, it's not. I'll say yeah. I'll say yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we. Yeah. So how does it work? Do they eat it on you like at the gym or you know at a competition, or they just yeah uh, mainly at the competition. Um, because like the girl who actually compete, I really understand us. You know, they know how we go through, what we go through, and uh, they go through the same thing. And then uh, the reason some men who never actually competed, who never got into fitness, and once they see those girls, they don't get the courage to talk to them because they think that I, she's too manly, she's too gross. You know. But the thing is that after they when those girls from competition. When they're off season, they get the body back normally. You know. Oh really? Yeah. I it, never knew that. Yeah, it doesn't stay. It's only the diet who actually make you like that. Mm. Yeah. I never knew that. I guess I just learned a thing or two today. <laughs> How exactly did you get a good promotion recently? Or yeah, it was actually it was recently um, because I I got approached by one of my uh, co promoter as well. And um, he actually invited me to one of his events. And then um, the way I was interacting with some of his customers and clients, you wow. really like it. And it was like, wow, don't you think it would be, I, I would definitely think it would be a great fit for our team. You know, would you like to join? And I was like, uh, I really don't do the nighttime, uh, night lifestyle, but. Why not? Since I love to interact with people, let me get into it, and that's how I got into it. That's interesting. Yes. But if I get to interact with you in a good way, maybe I have a chance. Do you think I have a chance to become a promoter? Like, be honest. Um, <laughs> first of, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. No. Huh. There's a lot of women who are promoter, you know, yeah, yeah. make up. Decent amount of money. No, I love my bed way too much for that. <laughs> I love my bed way too much, so I don't think I can be able to miss a lot of sleep. Oh yeah. Yeah. For example, if you don't know me, let's just say we we are not doing this right now, mm -hmm. or we met in the street or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or would you convince me to come to your party? I would like to convince you to. Mm -hmm. Well, at some point, yeah, everybody. Uh, anyone love, you know, people love to go out, have a good time and everything. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays, it's really, really hard to approach women, you know, because uh, first thing, first they think that anything that you're actually trying to talk to them, they think you're trying to hit on them and things like that. So it's, it's kind of difficult, but I'll definitely try, you know, hey. Have an event going on here, uh, and I would like you to come and uh, give it a try. You know, I'll actually show you some flyers, some short videos, and everything that will definitely excite you. Brainwash you. Brainwash me, huh? Yeah, so once you get there, that's it. That's it. That's it. Let me think about it. Maybe I will. So, this, this one is a tricky question. Because I'm curious, I really want to know. Okay. How often do you leave a, leave the club with a girl? With a girl? Uh, often. Every week, every time you go out? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I'm not really interested in that, you know, because I know that I'm not trying to sound like a 
for a key, but I know that if I want to get a girl, even um, in or out of the club, I can definitely get a girl. But don't, don't girls actually give you at the club? Because you are the promoter, so technically you are, you are you know, the main thing at the party, or everybody's looking at you, but you are the one who's promoting the party. So obviously, if you girls we might, might try to talk to you, right. to get it for free, that's I mean, work actually when she's trying to convince you that. I mean, you know. there is, it depends. It, it really depends, you know, because uh, um, it depends on, uh, on, the, on the top of people. You know. Depends on all she looks. If no, she looks no, sexy. no. It really, it, really, it really doesn't matter to me, you know. So it depends. It's kind of tricky, but it really depends. Yeah. Okay. So you are saying that if I actually dress really nice, really sexy and walk to a club and ask for the promoter and say this this guy and I'm like, hey, can I, you know, please get him for free? You won't let me get him for free. The way, the way you actually <laughs> get it, you know, you know if you won't get for free. Because really? let me tell you something. We get that all the time. We get that plenty of time. People always come. And then they always have the same line. Okay, can I get, don't you know me? You know, we friends, right? You follow me. You know, we always get that. So it's like, you know, there's like some people need to get paid. So yeah, those people who worked at the door, uh, securities and things like that, they also need to get paid. So that's the thing. If you're lucky, that's why we always have a, a time frame in which it's actually free. And you know, nobody, that, no, no, nobody's okay. going out at this time. I mean, just like, who's going to go to a club where there is nobody? No, because everybody's yeah. trying to have this big entrance, the, like when you walk you know, in. You know, the thing is, the mm -hmm. early, uh, the, the early earlier you come, mm -hmm. the better it is. You know, really? Yeah. Because you know, I need that big entrance. I want everybody to look at me. At least, not everybody, but a few people, you know, to look at me when I'm walking. So I really don't feel like, you know, coming in early and then my makeup might look, you know, might not I mean, if you look nice. good, if you actually look good, the money that you actually spend mm -hmm. on your makeup, you can actually uh, pay for the for, for your Oh, right, right. Like, you know, yeah. So it's simple. What if I spend all the money on the makeup stuff, like a lipstick, lip gloss, foundation, everything? You know those stuff are expensive. I know it's really expensive, but it's better to, to stay home. If you don't have money, how would you buy your own drink? Well, uh, you know, I might get some few guys to pay for it. I'm just going to sit at a bar, you know, trying to make you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you what inspired me. What exactly inspired me? What inspired me mm -hmm. in life? I would yes. say, say my mom really inspired me. She's my she's my good source of inspiration. Growing up with her, you know, I've learned a lot about her. She she guided me uh, through so many things that I actually never knew I would be able to. I'm smiling a lot. <laughs> I'm smiling a lot because I, I can relate to that, you know. Okay. Because I have an amazing mom too. And okay. I can She's actually the person I'm trying to be, but just a little bit more than her. She oh, can okay. keep crying. Yeah. Yeah, so can you describe yourself in three words? I would say I'm funny. Funny? Humble. Humble? HB and, and sit down. Uh, and quiet. And quiet. Oh, quiet. I couldn't figure this out. Because I remember the first time I met you, you were already talking. Yeah. I was like, who is that guy? Why doesn't he say hi to me? Yeah, people always say that. You know, I get that a lot. Yeah, because yeah, like, when you're quiet sometimes, you make it appear like you're not being social. But you're, you're a really nice guy, actually. So, ladies, if you have this free quality in your, you know, you are looking for this three guys, he's man, he's here, he's funny, he's humble, and he's quiet. So I got perfect much for somebody over there. It's not free though, just pick me up, you'll probably get the number. <laughs> and okay, so tell me, what is the funniest thing that happens to you lately? Um, I remember when I was in, uh, college, yeah, back home. Mm -hmm. um, 
actually wrote a post on my Instagram, uh, no, on my Facebook page about uh, a girl who was actually acting up a lot in our class. And, you know, because like we were actually learning how to speak English, mm -hmm. but she was well, she was actually a fit, you know. And our teacher, Mr. Tiens, was uh, told her to read a book. Uh, a book. Mm -hmm. And then uh, to the at one point, uh, she got to the point where uh, it was like a random sentence, and then it says police, mm -hmm. you know. And since so she wanted to show up. Mm -hmm. She said police. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? Oh my yeah, god, yeah, she, she said, said police. Yeah, yeah, she said police. <laughs> so, um, last night I was actually thinking about it and I was, I was laughing in bed and I actually wrote a post okay. and I put it on my, uh, I put it on my uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, and then the second thing that happened was that there's this girl that was also, um, I don't have anything against girls, but you know, they're really amazing. I love them, you know, I cherish but them. You still have a lot of stories about them. You know, <laughs> so uh, she, she was actually sitting right in front of the teacher, mm -hmm. you know, and while the other got uh, picked on, mm -hmm. she was laughing, you know. And then the teacher actually asked her, mm -hmm. what's the present perfect of, uh, of go, mm -hmm. and then she said goes next. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this thing got me going, and then I wrote a post. So, oh my god, I so, yeah, most of my friends back home who actually remember the scene in class came in, man, you know, they came in, uh, say certain things about it. So, yeah, that was so it's like amazing. do and doesn't and go <laughs> and goes and <laughs> really. Yeah. So oh, I was like, you know. oh, right. I'm, prob I'm probably going to take a screenshot of this thing and post it here. <laughs> like, this is so funny. Goes it? Yeah, it goes it. I, I would have never thought of that. Oh my god. I mean, at that time, I didn't know how to speak English either. So yeah. I was like, you know, don't want to interact with people who mm -hmm. has a higher level of <laughs> English, you know, who said cool eyes oh. and those things. <laughs> so oh, tell me, by the way. What was your highest grade in English class? Uh, I, I don't even remember, but I was um, I, it wasn't it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. You know what my highest was? I think if it wasn't nine, it was you know ten was okay for me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even you know think about getting any twelve. This one time I remember I got thirteen. Oh my god, I was so happy. Ha <laughs> I was really really happy. We learned a thing or two about you today. Alright. So we are going to play a game. Okay, this is my game. I'm going to make a face. Because people say I have a funny face. Like sometimes people think I'm thinking about something which I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not always thinking. So I'm probably going to do one of these faces. And you will tell me what I'm thinking when I do the face. Does it make sense? Alright. Okay. <coughs> so, what about that? I'm not sure about this guy. Oh really? What makes you think this is actually about a guy? No, it's not. It's not like because a woman be like, there's something wrong or that type of phrase. Okay, so what about this one? You actually think about something that made you piss up. Hmm. Right, you got it right. So what about this one? <laughs> Looking like Dora Explorer. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I was trying to look sexy here, okay? Yeah, I mean, this yeah, was my sexy. Because like this is this is what Dora, Dora does, you know. Really? Yeah. I don't think Dora is sexy. Uh, she she's uh, she's cute though with the um, little eye. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm cute about her, right? Yeah. We'll definitely have to put you guys to to a test and then figure out. Seriously? This is not nice at all. <laughs> oh 
Okay, thank you so much for having me. I, I had a great time. Sure, thank you very much for actually having me here as well. I haven't loved this hard in, you know, in days and I really needed it. So once again, we have Mr. Hodge. Yeah. And can you give them your Instagram, Facebook? Um, I have uh, my Instagram name is uh, Dr. M O C T A R. This is going to be written right on the score. L E on the score. R O D M A N. What about your Facebook? And my Facebook is only for. For family? No, not for family, but um, specific friends. Specific friends and friends. Uh, well. Um, Hajj, H A D J, Rodman, R O D M A N J R. Okay, thank you so much, guys. So go home. Ready, <laughs> eat me up for the number. The number I'm not going to bring up there <laughs> because your men might be jealous. Okay, so. <laughs> Thank you so much. We have such a free party for you. <laughs> if you really need to get in the party for free, you better give him a call. Thank you so much for having us. Right, thank and you we so had much. a great time. Sure, thank you very much for having me here. It's such a pleasure being here and oh. sharing the... Ça vient de bon guest, t'as remarqué yes. Le rap son gros mon gars, on va l'innover King dans les bacs, la bombe va se ramener De ce qu'on est capable, mon gars, t'as pas idée Ah, ah si gars, si gui Ah si gars, si gui Ah si gars, si gui Vous n'y a pas qu'à y'a la si gui Jouez-moi Ah la si gui, jouez-moi